We're back with another episode of the IBJJF podcast. My guest today is Joao Gabriel Rocha. Joao is a two-time Pan champion. He's a Brazilian national champion, and he's off to a great start in 2023 in competition. Joao, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you for the uh, invite. <laughs> Absolutely. Really excited for this conversation. You've been competing quite a bit so far in 2023. Why don't you talk about coming back to competition and what kept you away from competition leading up to this year? Yeah, uh, I think uh, uh, I I want to compete a lot this year because the last couple of years I didn't compete, you know, uh, after coronavirus, uh, everything was so heavy, you know, uh, I just, you know, have the ground open for my gym one week before the coronavirus happened you know and uh was so hard times for me and i need focus on my gym you know and uh after that um uh, i want to come back to compete but every time i was busy and busy on the gym you know uh and uh i say to myself hey i need to come to come back you know i was so stressful you see everyone competing you know and uh not me over there you know in the backstage you know and i'm like hey 2023 will be the year that uh i want to compete way more than i ever competed you know um and uh first i want to compete uh way more this year because uh i need to come back like with the competition time you know um and this is so different than when you train it like you can train so hard and uh uh, you even uh, with this, you cannot like have competition time. You need to compete for have this time, this feeling, you know. And uh, I just hate stretch myself the last two weeks for Oklahoma Open and uh, Austin Open, and I competed both and I won both. Okay, uh, gi and no gi, and. Uh, this year, I want to compete way more, you know. Uh, I probably I want to go to Dublin Open, you know. Uh, I um, want to compete in Pan Ams, Words, everything that possible, uh, you know, that I can uh, make in my schedule. 100% I will compete because also uh, I want to compete in the ranking. I never competed in the ranking, you know. I just compete in Pan Ams and Words, Pan Ams and Words. Uh, and uh, in that way, it's, it's, it's really cool because uh, you are in the big tournament, you know, you motivation yourself a lot. But uh, also, afterwards, I feel like, oh, my year gone, you know, basically. And uh, I don't want to feel in that way. I want to, like, keep motivation my, uh, myself. And that's the way that I found, like, hey, let's compete more and more. And... Uh, the rank is there, you know, I never completed the rank. This is one new thing, you know. I already have um, 11 years on the black belt, you know. And uh, I, it's cool to do something new, you know. You feel like you renovation yourself, you know what I mean? That's amazing. So you, you said you competed at the Austin Open, Oklahoma City so far in 2023. And I believe the last time you competed in IBJJF competition before that was 2020 American Nationals. Is that right? Yes, and I just completed the American National because it was in Dallas, you know. Uh, the, uh, normally it's in Vegas, right? But I think because of the coronavirus, you, uh, Texas one was one of the first op uh, open states, right, uh, with Florida. And uh, I think that's why you guys moved to, to uh, Dallas. And uh, I was like 15 minutes from the arena. I'm like, hey. <laughs> I need to compete in, you know, uh, my student never see me compete at all. And uh, I competed this one and I won the, the bo double gold. was so cool, you know. Uh, I hope that you guys can come back to this event in Dallas, you know. It was so cool have like one really big tournament, American Nationals, really big tournament in, in town, you know. Texas grow a lot, you know, the jiu-jitsu, you know. Uh, and uh, that will be so cool too. But yeah, a uh, long time, long time, like three years almost, you know, that I didn't compete. That never happened, ever. Yeah. Even when I had concert, I just stayed one year out uh, when I had concert. 
And that's it. I, why now I stay like almost three years, you know. Uh, and, but that's cool. That's cool because uh, I can, uh, I have renovation my energy, you know. Uh, I'm more like uh, my head more on the place, you know, my mind, you know. Everything uh, uh, I'm more uh, ready for the purpose that I wanted, you know. Uh, and uh, more experience, you know. Everything like happened for one reason, and right now I'm too happy to come back, and too happy with uh, what's going on this year. You know, I know that this year will be really cool for me. Almost three years between competition. I know you're someone who likes to compete all the time. What was it like getting back on the mat for the first time and, and competing? Uh, after my break was in the Ocean Open, you know, uh, the end of January. Uh, was one mix of emotions because uh, when I when I come in, I'm like, hey, I will compete. Uh, I'm excited, but at the same time, like, hey, uh, I have like one name. Do you know everyone like want to compete against me? Do you know? Uh, but I don't try to think about it that way. I just like I want to enjoy the moment. When you are like a uh, long time. Uh, without tournaments you know without something that you really love you don't care too much what's really going on you just want to be there you know uh and i just try to enjoy it you know i remember the um i uh, handshake the referee and he say welcome back i'm like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yes i'm back you know uh my first match was so quick uh and uh uh this uh make me like more calm you know because the first mat that's like the the bigger problem you know for me you know because uh you always have feel the adrenaline a little bit you know uh even if you are like like i say 11 years on the black belt, it's uh something that uh you always uh will have you know i think if you didn't feel that uh, uh adrenaline it's better you don't compete anymore it's because of you basically don't care about the results many in the pro class you know, the uh, uh, adult black belt, you know. Uh, but uh, thank you. Uh, the match was so quick for me. And I just like start to enjoy it more and more and more the tournament, you know. Was was so cool to coming back, you know. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, was very good match over there, you know. Uh, I, I don't feel old yet. And I just want to <laughs> keep it like uh, in that way, you know. Let's see. You got two tournaments under your belt so far in 2023, and to go for the number one ranking, you're going to need to compete in, in quite a few more. What, I know you mentioned the Dublin Open, the Pans, the Worlds. What other tournaments do you have on your schedule, or what other tournaments are you looking to compete in in 2023? Uh, for being very sincere with you, uh, I want to compete in maximum day I can, okay? Uh, afterwards, uh, I want to keep you focused on the Opens the uh, you guys will post, Okay uh i want to go to asian open so far you know uh i want to compete in that one uh, uh i want excuse to go to japan you know uh, that's my favorite country i really want to go over there yeah i've never been there um and also that get get more points for the ranking you know uh i saw to the pan pacific i think is in australia uh and um uh, I didn't have the date yet, but uh, when the have the dates, probably will go to for because it make more points for the ranking. Um, I know the for me it will be so hard to be a number one in the ranking this year uh, because uh, the rank is the last three years, right? They start to count the points, and uh, the last base three years I don't compete. I come to the zero to. Uh, uh, one, two, three, you know, points, you know, I didn't have any point before, but uh, I looking for this season and next season for make this happen, you know, uh, and uh, we competed maximum deck and every open, you know, is that's cool to be in Dallas because Dallas is like the center of US, you know, and uh, I can be easier uh, 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 in every point in US in two hours maximum, you know, two hours and a half uh but also when i uh compete international travels you know uh like a doubling you know uh that's one of the i looking for you know because i cannot come uh to mansfield open this this week uh i will make one uh dvd structures uh but um 
probably we will be uh, doubling Dallas, uh, Pan Am's words, and every open that you guys post, probably you, you guys will see me there. <laughs> the next major tournament is going to be the Pans, a tournament you've had a lot of success at. And we've seen some really great ultra heavyweight competitors coming up in the past couple of years. You got Gutenberg Pereira, Mason Fowler, Victor Hugo. These guys have been doing great. So what, what is your take on the current state of the ultra heavy division and all the talented competitors there? Yeah. Um, for me versus Sir with you, I don't think too much uh, uh, about this right now. I, I try to do like step by step. You know, I just want to come back, few health. But uh, the last three years, with things when I stop, uh, a lot of things change. You know, uh, I feel that one uh, big generation retired. One big generation that stopped the last two years ago. You know, since when I stop, I have my break. Uh, I feel that one one big uh, generation, uh, big name stopped. You know. And uh, this this was like um, Bouchesha, um, Lucas Lapri, you know, uh, Michael Lange, you know, all these guys that was for I don't know more than ten years, you know, on the black belt, win every word every time, you know, uh, just stop, you know, uh, retire, you know, from jujitsu, and the new generation start to show up. You know, and uh, I never fight majority of them, you know, uh, because uh, I went was the situation show up when I stopped to to compete. But I see that they do pretty well, you know. I think uh, I really have really tough mats, you know, soon, you know. Um, uh, my, my whole career, I have Bushesha in my division, you know. And we competed six times already, and uh, that was uh, so tough for me because he was uh, uh, he had the record of the world championships, you know. Uh, he was probably the one of the best uh, fighters ever in the whole history uh, for me with uh, Roger Gracie, and uh, right now I have to come back and didn't see him over there anymore, you know. His new uh, face, the, the show up. Uh, but uh, I think it will be good. Uh, I think it will be really good to to fight this new generation, new motivation, you know, uh, new energy, new guys. I think it, everything will be like uh, uh, amazing when I uh, have like face to face with these guys, you know. So while you've been taking your break from competition, I'm, I'm sure you've been watching the jiu-jitsu scene and seeing some of the new black belts coming up. Have there been any new black belts from the new generation that you've liked to watch compete in the past couple of years? If you ask me in the old generation, I have a lot, you know. Uh, the old generation, I'm super fun. You know, this was like uh, uh, above me, you know. Uh, but uh, the new generation... Um, I I have the the guy from AOJ that I really like him the medium guy the Tainan yeah. uh that Tainan Dauper right yeah uh, he's uh, really good and that's uh uh is the guy that I look in the the are in the new generation the put all in you know he he wanna go to submission you know he looking for submission you know. For be very sincere with you, I'm no super fan of the new generation. You know, uh, I like more to see the old style. Feel the people that in the old style is all in. You know, uh, I feel right now the right now the people like uh, start to make more money. You know, uh, start to play more safe too. You know, uh, before like was like for your pride, basically. You know, for your legacy. And uh, why now? Uh, I feel the people start to play more safe, you know, uh, and make the 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 match more like uh, stalled, you know, like they don't uh, move a lot, don't pass a lot of risk. But for sure, have some people in the new generation. The it's not everyone, you know. To have some people of the new generation the, to do pretty well, you know, like Tainan, Mika, you know. Uh, these guys, the uh, guys that are looking 
you know. Uh, for my um, uh, weight, uh, I think Victor Rugo is one of, of the guys uh, the looking for, like, moving more, you know. Don't just stall, like, keep it going, you know. Uh, he's uh, really good, you know, and he just showed the last couple of years uh, uh, his job and he to do that pretty well, you know, he was world champion. Uh, but, uh, like I said to you, I'm super fan of the old generation, you know. <laughs> so let's talk a bit about your academy, Alliance Jiu-Jitsu Dallas. You've been with Alliance for almost a year now. They're one of the winningest teams ever in Jiu-Jitsu competition history. How has your experience been representing Alliance for about the past 12 months? Uh, it's great. Uh, I only can say good words, you know, about this, you know. Uh, this makes me way more comfortable uh, to why now I come back to the tournament too, you know what I mean? Uh, because I have all the one background of Alliance in my gym. The why now I can teach my structures, you know, for this keeping with the Alliance system, you know, making me so comfortable because one of my uh, uh, worries was about like, hey, uh, like I say, I want to compete in a lot this year, you know, and if I don't, uh, 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 if I'm not on the gym, uh, man, I need, I need like guys with me, you know, and I need one really good methodology, one good system for this fall, you know, uh, and, uh, that's why, uh, um, I'm so happy with Alliance and also is one big team, you know, everywhere that I come, every open that I come have one Alliance gym, you know, that I can stay by and training, you know, uh, it's really good. I just didn't have uh, good words about about them, and I hope that I can help them for uh, the world championship. We get one more uh, title by Chum, you know. You're doing amazing work with your competition team as well. You've got your brother Pedro Hosha. Nogi Pan champion, one of the best guillotines in jiu-jitsu. You also have Stefan Banta, who was doing really great at brown belt. Now he's a new black belt. He's competed a couple times at black belt. Can you talk about your goals for your competition team and how you feel that's been going? Yeah. Uh, about the team, uh, I wanted to make the team uh, bigger but solid. You know, I don't worry about like that we grow faster. You know, but I worry about that we grow solid. You know, and uh, my my brother, for me, he have a, one of the best games in the nogi, and his and many in his division. You know, uh, every time I talk to him for him, could be a little bit more the open class. You know, because I I know that he can do that uh, as well. But uh, in the tournament in his division uh for me he are one of the best you know uh and he just showed this uh, in every tournament you know um he was pan am's uh champion last year and he submit all the mats you know uh that was so cool uh and uh you mentioned stefan banda uh for me he was the best uh brown belt uh, American brown belt and the whole the history, you know. Uh, I know they have a Keenum, Keenum to do that pretty well too. But in my opinion, uh, uh, he competed way more uh, the Keenum when Keenum was in the brown belt, you know. Uh, and uh, he just win all the tournament, you know. You can say like uh, 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 all the major tournaments uh, of ABJJF. And uh, he win everything, you know, weight and open class, you know. Um, he was number one in the ranking, the ABJJF. Uh, his weight and open class, gi and no gi, you know. It's no all a gi, no gi too, you know. He, in December, he won the double gold in the no gi too. Uh, and uh, I promotion him. He was my, my first American black belt. Uh, and uh, I promotion him to the black belt in December uh, of last year. Uh, he already competed his first uh, black belt tournament uh, was Oklahoma Open. Okay, he won uh, quadruple gold. Okay, he won uh, his division. He won open class and he won uh, no gi and gi. 
uh, no gi uh, open class too. And it uh, was so cool to see him compete in the black belt division, you know. Uh, and uh, it's just in the beginning, you know. He had too excited. He have 23 years old. He just in, uh, started uh, uh, to finish his uh, college too, you know. Uh, this year he will finish his college and he will be full-time athlete, you know. A lot of people didn't know that, the, the him student too and train jiu-jitsu you know uh and only this year uh the end of the year he will be just in full athlete and uh, i can imagine what uh the future uh uh really going on you know because uh this guy is really tough a lot of talent uh good biotype uh and everything to to win good mind you know uh, just you need more, uh, a little bit more experience, but this is just in time, you know, it's not his fault. Just you need uh, a little bit more time, compete, uh, compete a little bit more. And uh, you see a lot of his face, you know, the ginger guy. <laughs> <laughs> you have 11 years now as a black belt, so you have quite a bit of experience in, at the highest level of the sport. And now that you're coaching a lot of competitors, and I'm sure you have a lot of up and comers too, who aren't at the black belt level, what type of advice do you give to your athletes who want to make Jiu Jitsu a career and be a full-time competitor? The best things that I can say for, uh, if you are like color belt, or even if you are white belt and you have a dream to compete, be athlete, is like be consistent, you know? Uh, I remember uh, when I started Jiu Jitsu, I started Jiu Jitsu by two years old. Um, I started Jiu Jitsu, you know, 28 years ago, you know. And uh, when I started Jiu Jitsu, I started Jiu Jitsu in one very traditional gym in Rio, Brazil. And uh, the majority of the gym was uh, kids. The kids program is incredible in that gym, you know. And uh, have like more like I don't know the two hundred kids you know and uh, on the gym, and uh, in my class probably have like about forty to fifty kids you know, and uh, when I look back in the days, uh, I don't say to be uh, world class level, but I say to be black belt. Uh, only me uh, was uh, become black belt uh, from that class. Imagine forty kids. You know, only me become black belt, you know. And uh, this means what? Uh, that you have to have some special talents? 100% no. It just means that I was consistent. I don't stop. If you don't stop to training, one day you will be black belt. And that's what they I do, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, I think the people wanted the results like so fast. Many why now... Uh, social media, everything so fast, pictures, this, videos, that, uh, fast food, food right now, uh, everything so fast. Uh, uh, that's uh, good for one way, but you need one balance, you know, uh, of this. And uh, people don't believe the, the consistent step-by-step, 1% better every day, you know. And the end, this will make the, the, the really good results. Consistent is the key of the success, you know. Doesn't matter what you to do in your life, you know. And um, I think the people have to believe more in the process, you know. No just in the 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 last points, you know, or or where you are right now. If you know where you want to go, doesn't matter uh, what the point that you are right now, you know. Uh, uh, you don't have to care about that, you know. You just should have to care about the, your routine, what they you to do every day, you know, and keeping consistent, you know. I think that, that that's the the many things that I can say to to the new generation, the new color belts, uh, is that like be consistent, you know. Well, Joao, it's been great talking to you. We can't wait to watch you compete at the Pans, the Worlds, all the Open tournaments, and going after that number one ranking. It's going to be great. Do you have anyone you want to thank or anything else you want to say before we wrap up the podcast? Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you so much for my students. Thanks so much for IWJF. You know, you guys uh, make one great job, you know. Uh, the last couple of years, you know, right now is uh, – 
cool being jujitsu, but uh, 30 years ago, no one was in that way. And you guys believe in the, the sport back in the days. And I'm so happy to have you guys uh, with us, you know, because uh, for me, without you guys, uh, we don't live in that moment. Why now? You know, uh, thanks so much, MJ Jeff, for the whole work. Uh, and also, you guys will see me way more uh, this year, you know, and I hope the with Sam Gould with gold medals, you know. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Joao. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see you guys soon for another episode. Take care.